You're just like us. Like you? Code name Red Dragon. A useful yet dangerous creature with the potential to lose control. Our duty is to manage and subdue the Red Dragon's violent nature. Don't you think it's strange? The way you don't react to the Udu simulator? Oh, you don't mean. That's right. Red Dragon. Red and precious. <laughs> Negredo, come here. <laughs> So, what's the enemy's status? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The immigrant fleet has already descended into Milsha. Damn! We don't have much time. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the Zohar! Move the Elsa into the Foundation's dock. Have it repaired to Captain Matthew's specifications. We're going right back out! Little Master, there's a transmission from Helmer. Shall I accept it? Yeah. Hook us up. Helmer... I'm sorry. We let them get ahead of us. It's all right. It's more important that you're safe. I'm glad you made it back. So, what's the situation now? I'm afraid the news is grim. It seems the Parliament has been thrown into complete disarray. What's going on with the Federation fleet? Don't tell me they're just standing around watching. No, they've already been deployed on a descent mission, but it's too late. As long as the possibility exists that the enemy already has the Zohar, the Federation can't make any large-scale overtures. So I guess it's up to us now. I'm acutely aware of the danger, but there's no one else we can turn to right now. Please lend us your aid. All right. We'll get the Zohar. You can count on it. Good to see you awake again, Dr. Yuriev. 
Sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take this long for me to recover. How's the situation? Extremely chaotic, sir. The Federation's grown tired over the past 14 years, and many unstable factions have arisen. And Udu? Fourteen years ago, one of the URTVs made partial contact with it, causing a medium-scale space-time anomaly alteration. Since then, it's been obstructed by two black holes. Even now, we cannot confirm the state of its existence. All right. Ready my forces. I'll contact you again shortly. Yes, sir. By the way, how are you feeling? I heard your old body was disposed of. I feel great. There's only so much lifespan extension one can achieve. But now I'm fine, thanks to my son. <laughs> that is, the son who killed me. Wow! The capital looks just like it used to. Everything's exactly like it was then. Time has stopped in this world. The country of the hills of mud. The land of Mu was sacrificed. Being twice upheaved, it suddenly disappeared in one night. At last the surface gave way, and they sank along with their countries. What's that? A fairy tale. A story about a land that vanished into the sea one night long ago. Sacrifice. It definitely feels like it, just looking at this place. Yes, it does. Attention passengers. We'll soon be arriving at the designated coordinates. There's no way we're gonna get any further in this big hunk of metal. So if you want to check inside any of those buildings, you're gonna have to do it on your own. All right. Let's hurry up and get this over with. I don't want to spend too much time here, you know?
not working. External speakers? We have mobilized all units, but we're all exhausted from training earlier. May I? <laughs> Line up, maggots! Did you pandies already forget your training? Do you know how bad you made me look? Listen to me! What you think means nothing! What you want means nothing! You do as I say! I am the boot in your buttocks! You! What is your problem? Were you born that dumber than your drunk mama slapped you on the wrong end when you squirted out? Why are you laughing? Do I amuse you? I'm tired of all you panty waist nitwits! You make me physically ill! Drop and give me a million! I will break you! Enemy unit discovered on deck! Stand by! What did you say? Damn it! Found us! All hands, prepare for battle! Target the vector aim! This is not a drill! Show me everything you've got!
That's odd. This place somehow feels different than the others. You're right. It almost looks like there are people still working here recently. Nanomachines gone out of control. I have heard of nanomachines making rooms and passageways on their own. No. No, it doesn't feel like that. This is more like... like some sort of consciousness is at work here. It's Udu. Its presence has spread this far out. It would appear our destination is right in front of us. Yeah, there's no more time to lose.
Well, we finally made it. At last, we can set you free from your curse, Kanan. I'd appreciate it if you could hurry. I really don't want something like this in my head any longer than I need to. Hey, 
Just what is the data inside of Canaan, anyway? Put simply, it contains the identity of the mastermind behind the Milshan conflict. Hold on a second. The mastermind behind the conflict was... Hmm. The madman Joachim Mizrahi. At least that's what everyone thinks. But... Just because most people believe something doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Wait. What do you mean? You're about to find out. You're familiar with the UTIC organization? Sure. It's the organization established by Joachim Mizrahi to study the Zohar. We've gone through hell thanks to them. So what about the UTIC? The UTIC organization was originally a part of the Federation. Professor Mizrahi was apparently using the data he obtained from studying the Zohar to convert UTIC into a military organization. But he never actually told the Federation government. He kept them in the dark. But there's something else that's strange about this. It takes an enormous amount of money to fund research and weaponry. Yet there's no evidence that the Federation ever provided that kind of financial backing. So someone else was funding them from behind the scenes? That's right. Almost all of the UTIC organization's enterprises were nothing more than dummy corporations. That is, all except one. Just one? This data includes recorded information regarding a business known as Hyams. It's highly likely that this company was the one that actually provided the money. And the head of the Hyams outfit, a man named Heinlein, happens to be one of the cardinals of the immigrant fleet. So, are you saying that the UTIC organization has connections to the immigrant fleet? Did Daddy... Did Daddy have connections to the immigrant fleet, too? No. I presume Professor Mizrahi was merely being used. Their objective was to acquire research data on the Zohar. Even the Realian outbursts that sparked the Milchian conflict were believed to be part of their experiments. But something else happened that they couldn't have predicted. Udu awoke, and the door to purgatory opened. And the Gnosis appeared. Everyone must have thought it was the end of the world. But that didn't happen. Momo, the truth of the matter is, your father wasn't a madman at all. In the ensuing chaos, Professor Mizrahi had to make a vital decision in order to prevent the worst case scenario. What decision? He knew he had to somehow isolate the Zohar, Udu, and all of Milsha, and seal their power in a place where no one could touch it. So? The reason Milsha was swallowed up by the Abyss was because Professor Mizrahi... A great many people were sacrificed for his sake. That's probably the reason he brought judgment down upon himself. To put an end to everything. Your father tried to save the world you were about to be born into. And... Then he entrusted his secrets to you the one he could trust most. Uh, Daddy? I knew it! I'm so... I'm so happy! Wait a second. So if we just hand over the Zohar to the immigrant fleet, they'll... Yes. They will likely repeat the tragedy from 14 years ago. Please go on without me. I'm going to send this data to Representative Helmer. Kanan, please handle the data backup. 
Understood. You. I see. No wonder the air defense system was useless. Right? You are TV. Don't. Don't call me that! <laughs> that Helmer. He certainly managed to assemble an impressive ensemble. But your coming here now is pointless. We've already accomplished our objective. The Zohar is now under our control. There's nothing you can do. The outcome is already decided. What the hell are you thinking? That thing is way beyond anything you can handle. Do you have any idea what's gonna happen? Of course I do. The annoying Gnosis, as well as a few pathetic weed-like humans, who are arguably even more worthless than the Gnosis, are going to disappear. Just like Ariadne. You bastard! But weak as your position is, we still can't allow anything to interfere with our plans. Time to die! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
It's been 14 years, hasn't it, Uzuki? Personally, I would have preferred to never see you again. <gasps> Jin! The blade is for carving one's heart, not for turning against the masses. That's what our master once said, was it not? <laughs> this is perfect. I can't believe you're still a part of this, Uzuki. Once again, you insist on standing against me. There were still a few things I wanted to look into. These people were nice enough to give me a lift. Absurd. Nothing has changed here. You know it was careless of you not to erase those records 14 years ago. Now you can never return to the Federation. Or perhaps... Were you a bit too busy to worry about that at the time? I see you still talk too much. Very well. If you really want to know, you'll have to use that sword to make me talk. Naturally. That was my intent. Do not expect this to end like it did before. Uzuki! <laughs> Exhilaration! I told you. I won't allow a monster like you to inherit my grandfather's technique! <laughs> Bold words from such a fool! time running a used bookstore. I regret that now. <laughs> I'll make sure you die a painful death someday. Uzuki! <laughs> I'll send all of you to your graves! I 
Rico Ita. We are!
You're as dangerous as ever. But no matter how hard you struggle, there's nothing you can do now. I hope you savor your abject despair. You are powerless. Uzuki, if you want to settle this, you'll have, have to survive, to survive first. first. Looks like we made it in time. Look, that's the Zohar. The original. <sighs> this place. I saw it in my dream. The cage Feb's sisters were trapped in. What cage? Xi'an. I am detecting faint life signs in the capsules in front of us. Life signs? That is correct. Their design is quite old, however, they are definitely realians. You're saying that those are realians? Junior? What's wrong? Momo, stay back! Unfortunately, because they are fused with the system, it appears they have already lost their individual functionality and consciousness. In their current state, separating them from the system would result in complete shutdown. Bastards! Why'd they do this? Because using them in their natural state proved difficult. It was necessary to isolate their consciousness from the outside world. Who the hell are you? Why would the leader of the immigrant fleet be here? There's really no need for me to answer questions from the likes of you. Very well. The Zohar, that object originally belonged to us, to Ormus. Yes, since the dawn of recorded history, we have been its guardians. In turn, we use it in any way we see fit. That is the way of things. Ormus. So that's the real name of your organization. That's right. Ormus has existed in the shadows since ancient times. Indeed, since before the crucifixion of the Messiah. Human beings, no, all life throughout the universe, must be guided forward by Ormus and the Zohar. And they shall be led unto a higher plane of existence. That is the mission that God has entrusted to us. Damn you! You... You did this to them for that? What? Is there a problem? They are tools created specifically for that purpose. Shut up! I refuse! I refuse to accept this! You refuse? And we'll just have to make you accept it! This power is granted to us by God! That's... It's... It's the voice of Udu! Stop the system! Now! 
you don't, it's gonna wake up again! Xion, please stand back. I will destroy the system and cut the bypass to the Zohar. Cosmos, wait! They're still... Xion, if you interfere, I will be required to take drastic measures. No! Cosmos! Xion... <gasps> to be me. Why did you call me? I won't do it! I can't do it! Xion, you've always been this way. Such a kind child. <laughs> Feb? Feb? <laughs> Cosmos? Doesn't matter what you do now. You cannot stop this power. It can't be. Proto Omega. It's been completed. Oh. You know of it. I'm impressed. It seems I may have underestimated you slightly. These past 14 years have been a great help to us as has the data from the conflict. As a result, we now have a symbol of overwhelming power. With this, we will wipe the Gnosis from the cosmos and place the entire star cluster under the jurisdiction of Ormus. Of course, we hardly need anything this overwhelming now, thanks to the UNN and the Federation. They've managed to reduce the people to a simple mass of spineless weaklings. Xion! Wasting your time! <laughs> now... Let the festival begin!
No! Nilsha. Uh, they destroyed the entire planet? How the hell could they do that? <laughs> 